daddy's painting party. This ain't your daddy's painting class. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Mary Houlihan. It's Mary Houlihan. Yes, yes, woohoo. Cha-ching. Welcome to the show. Yep, that's right. I'm here in my room that I'm always in. Not, not, I'm at my parents' house in a room full of yarn. Um, yeah, there's really a lot of yarn. I wish I could show you around the yarn some more, but, uh, you know, maybe another time. Anyways, we should really get to the mousekeeping, don't you think? <laughs> ah, yes, mousekeeping. What's that? Well, it's housekeeping with a mouse gif. Hmm, so, you know, I'm at home. I'm watching Mary Houlihan's painting party, and I'm like, this is the best show in the world. How do I get even more involved? Well, you know, just watch it and comment and talk with all your friends. And if you're painting along with us, you could always post your stuff online and then we'll be like, oh my god, look at their painting, it's so good. And we'll put it on the viewer art website and, you know, we might even show it during the show. Hmm, let's see, how would you share your art? Of course, post it with the hashtag Mary Painting Party. Or, you know, if, if tweeting's not your thing, you could email it to Mary Houlihan XOXO at gmail.com. Hmm, what else could you do? Well, heck, if you wanna, um, you know, give me a little tip for being so hilarious, you could support the show at planetscum.live. There's a donate support button and you click on it and, well, there's stuff you could get if you donate, for instance, $5, you get a cool shout out at the bottom of the screen. $10, uh, stickers I mail to you. $20, a signed headshot. What does that look like? Wow, only $20? Uh, $100, come on a walk with us. Or for a measly peasly $1,500, we'll watch The Irishman together. Oh, doesn't that sound nice? Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Well, you know, don't let your $1,500 go to waste. Remember to email your receipt to me. Otherwise, I'll never know that you had donated. How do you email it again? Oh, yes, that's right. Mary Houlihan, XOXO at gmail.com. Hmm. Well, I guess those are the only things you can get wrong. There's t-shirts now. Check it out. Yep, that's right. We got a merch store, planetscum.live slash merch. Get the merch from all your favorite Planet Scum shows. Wow, look at all the shows and the shirts. Check it out. I think it's 24 bucks, I'm pretty sure. How much do I have to donate to do a Muppet Christmas Carol watch along? Um, 100 bucks, I guess. I don't know. Um, you know... I'm sort of, it's, I need a bottle opener and I feel like there was one here and now I don't know where it is and it's like, what do I, like, what do I do with this? You know what I mean? Anyways, um, oh, oh, what else can you do? Check out the website. We have a website, baby. Um, you know, it's. I'm tired of doing mousekeeping. Bring my friends on. I'm over this. Tommy, Colin. Hello. Tommy, Hi, Mary. Colin. Hey. What's up, guys? Well, I'm I'm trying to find a bottle opener behind you. I thought if I could search in amongst the yarn, it's, it was shaped like, like a fish, kind of. Oh, this is turning into Blue's Clues. So you open a bottle with it, and, <laughs> and I saw it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> yes! 
<laughs> oh, wait. I, I have to address something. You know, people in the comments, they're like, oh, look at Tommy's jacket. Wow, he has the most amazing closet. Wrong. That's my closet. <laughs> That's my closet. Tell them, Tommy. Tell it's them. true. This is uh, this is Mary's old room. That yes, yes. yes. Well, I moved into it, and then I moved uh, to a different room in this apartment. And now this is just kind of where I do painting parties. That's your uh, lounge. And, and it's my lounge <laughs> where I keep my magnificent coats of many colors and uh, just hang out and do fun stuff with my friends. Oh wow! Okay, mail time. Here's the mail. It never fails. It makes me wanna wag my tail. When it comes, I wanna wail. Mail. Oh, we just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Something, something, something. Uh, Colin, what time is it? It is almost ten past one. What so I can't hell? show you. I, I, Wait, how's I that possible? Know. It's 8 p.m. for me. It's because I'm in the UK. I, oh. I'm trying to find some proof. Um, oh, yeah. I don't know what I can... A, 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 a lamp that's made from oh, a beer Oh, an English lamp. That's mm. an English lamp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and of course, the, you're never far from uh, the Queen's face on a troopid's oh. piece. There she is. It's just like watching the crown. I think. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Squiddy UK says, woo, UK. Go to hospital for free. I yes, gotta you ask get to Colin, do that. You can go to hospital for free? Are yeah. there extras? Um, yeah, you, you can pay for some upgrades, like parking. You have to pay for your parking. Um, <laughs> and that's how they get so you. It's all, so it's always always best to get an ambulance there um, and let them pay for the parking. Uh, um, <laughs> I've never been, though. I have a hospital just around the corner. I feel like it, maybe if viewers have any medical questions, I could run across yeah, the road. I would love it if you did. we can get some medical <laughs> advice for free. Um, it does, does it cost money to call an ambulance? Uh, no, I don't think so. Luckily, oh I've God. never had had. Luckily, I've never had to call mm -hmm. an ambulance, or I've I've got dental work for oh. for on the NHS, the 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 health service mm -hmm. here. So mm -hmm. they've they've given me things, put things in my mouth for free, including oh, a met the crown and here you yeah, have so to pay nice. to have things in your mouth. So, <laughs> so you, you pay for some things. So so th they make a big deal. My dentist made a big deal about how if I wanted something to look good, I'd have to pay lots of money. But mm. if I wanted something that didn't look good, he could do that for much less. All right. And okay. I, I chose the, the the much less good option. Because yeah. I have Irish teeth. They're not good. <laughs> But me and yeah. Tommy have Irish teeth. <laughs> oh, yeah, mine will. <laughs> you see, the, the, the cure for that is if you just never smile and never open your mouth. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and nobody will know. Just never open your mouth. That's, the, that's what okay. we say in Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Oh, learn something new. <laughs> Maybe well, that was Tommy... just what I was told. Tommy, you have a Christmas album. Is this true? Did I make this up or is this, this is, true? This is 100% <laughs> true. Thank you so much for bringing it up. I just put out a Christmas album. Um, it's on my band camp and it's called I Think I'm Starting to Like Christmas. I'm very excited about it. Wow. Damn, that's dope as hell. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to do something that was dope as hell. And yeah, awesome. there it is in the background. Well, I had this crazy idea that the theme today could be you know i i decided to call it christmas radio you know i know you've heard of christmas music that's sort of more a thing that people say people don't say christmas radio but you know it is. colin you might not understand in our culture <laughs> the radio plays christmas music <laughs> starting in november or earlier yeah. if you're in a weird market and um and it's the most wonderful season of all because I love Christmas music. I love it so much. I just have one little problem with it. And that's when people do covers of songs 
if they don't need to do the cover. I feel like if you're in the studio and you play it back and you're like, it's not as good, why release it? Mm. That's sort of how I feel anytime, you know, you hear uh, Last Christmas, the Wham song, you hear like a new rendition and you're like, why? <laughs> so that really pisses me off. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I love hearing it all the time. <laughs> Anyways, so I don't know. I was having trouble deciding what to paint. At first, I thought maybe I would paint Brenda Lee, you know, the girl that sang a raccoon around. You know the one. The Christmas tree, yeah. You know, you know it. <laughs> Michael Jordan, the cardboard cutout, dancing around, cutting the house. <laughs> um, but, you know. No offense, I just feel like she didn't have very good picks. And I'm sorry to say it, but it's true. Whoa. So, so what did you decide to paint? You know what, I still haven't decided. Really. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I was thinking, you know, I was sort of like, Mary, don't paint Casey Musgraves. Do something cool. <laughs> Um, but I think I'm going to have to paint Casey Musgraves <laughs> because she has this amazing Christmas special that I love so much. Yep, that's right. It's a great Christmas special. It was on Amazon last year and they never take it down. So you can watch it whenever. I already watched it once this year. <laughs> oh, I got to watch that. I like Casey Musgraves, but I haven't seen it. Tommy, did you see her live? No, I never have. I wish oh. I could. But I was there big was that fan one of that that like everyone went to like anyone who was anyone was there yeah like <laughs> me marcia i oh, mean morales <laughs> that's pretty much the creme de la creme <laughs> <laughs> well you're more of a teeth with girl well it's so or funny was that in the past I, I still am but it's so funny because she did exactly what you were talking about and she put out like a very subdued last christmas cover that it's like the way one is so much better and i i love taylor swift but it was like there's no need for this you know yeah but she I grew up in a christmas tree it. farm i don't know if you knew that i didn't know that yeah what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, the Christmas tree farm is surely the easiest kind of farm you can work on because you don't have to herd the trees into a pen. They don't need to come indoors at night. It's you, not as they look after, yeah. yeah, they look after themselves for, what, <laughs> 10 months, 11 months of the year. And then that's a, that's a good farm idea. No wonder she's a success. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> So let's see, I'm doing what all good artists do, and I'm going on Google Image Search to find the perfect Christmas picture of Casey Musgraves. I don't know Katie Musgraves, and I don't know if it's because she's not big this part of the world, or because I'm, I'm just not with it, I'm not up to date. It's because I'm small on this side of the world, I don't know which one. You know, I'm not sure. I, I could go either way. I do I don't know why. I think of her as having a big Irish um, yeah. uh, fan base. But I don't know. Maybe she does. What do I know? It's... Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I was wondering if, if the this side of the world would have the same Christmas songs as you guys. like Because Guam is a big one here. But that's, oh, yeah. Because that's a good package, the video. I like his his glaring across the table. It's, uh, it's great. Um, what other songs are big there other than Wham? Um, Band-Aid, Do They Know It's Christmas? From oh, yeah. That they sang oh, it live, yeah. is that a big one? Um, the world. Yeah. Which is a fun song to sing anytime you're wearing big headphones. I can't help but sing that. Um, there's the fairy tale of New York, the Pogues. That's what mm -hmm. one that's always that's oh, always sure. tricky because it's got a it, it's, it's it's got a word in it that you, you wish they didn't like. have that word and because <laughs> yeah. it's such a great song and then you What's hear it every the word? time. What do they say? It's a, a one that's offensive to gay people. Um, Whoa! Why they do that? So, I wish they did. didn't. Mm, 
lots of their songs, unfortunately, have different words that aren't so nice in there. But um, that's messed up. Oh it, my god! It's always, I've... It's always sorry, used can, yeah. in a, a, a big derogatory way, uh, or not a, a way to start debates and fights. Uh, the BBC won't play it, so lots of people who have no interest in the Pogues or having a nice time at Christmas can come with us. Wow. But I sorry, I interrupted. There's, there's a new initiative on Mary Houlihan's painting party, which is that I leave Animal Crossing on the TV and you could come to my island. Bell, the turnips, they cost, they, they're selling for 137 bells today. That's my dodo code at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, I've been using um, this app where you share dodo codes. Oh, look, someone left me an acorn. Um, you share your dodo codes, and then people from all around the planet come to your island and vice versa. And, uh, you know, it's a blast. And uh, people give me bells and little treats. So, you know, it's kind of fun. Um... You know what? You know what I like to do, which is what all great artists do, is hold my paper up to my computer and um, do a little bit of tracing before I start. Ooh, Colin, what are you doing for? Uh, what kind of artwork are you doing today? Are you are you using? I'm paper and pencil. I've got my Ooh. my my range of B's to HB's and my. Everything. I, I'm not paint. Paint. I can never control it. It it mm -hmm. it always runs away from me, and we don't get on. I I push paint away. <laughs> that's <laughs> oh, that's terrible. It's, uh, it feels rebellious. It's like a, a teenager that's out of control, and I'm not coping with it. So um, so that's why pencils I feel like are easier. But what are what are you guys on? What do you want, Tommy? I'm doing, I'm using crayons, um, wow. the classic American I, tool. I, I was thinking of using crayons. I feel oh, like they're have underrated. You heard those? <laughs> yes. Um. The, this new technology, we're moving from, <laughs> from one age into the next. So I'm, I'm, we're so sick of charcoal here. <laughs> oh my God. This gosh darn setup in my parents house my childhood home i need to plug my computer in oh no can you guys vamp of course yeah oh, yeah thank thank goodness because so what's this because uh, i can ask you about the album what's the song we're, we're hearing track two are we hearing? well this is this is the christmas tree dance i was trying to start a dance craze uh because i figured oh nice you know, <laughs> there hasn't been a Christmas dance yet. We've had a lot of non-Christmas well, dances. But. In general, there's not been a dance craze since uh, Gangnam Style. We're I... long <laughs> overdue. Yeah, the market the market is uh, not oversaturated say, yeah, right now. They say history is doomed to repeat itself, so we're <laughs> due another dance craze. We are, we are very much doomed by this song. This is, uh, of the ones I recorded, this was the one that I set out to make the stupidest. So I don't know if that oh, translates. Nice. But <laughs> um, so, 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 do you, so you have a dance for uh, this yes. song? So, so uh, it's a two-person oh. dance um, called the Christmas oh, okay. Tree Dance. So you, you'll need a partner if you're trying to do it at home. But basically, one person throughout the dance is the tree. And they're, they're yeah. like this, standing perfectly still the whole time. Nice. And the other person has a bunch of moves to do. But one person gets really an easy job of just being yeah, a tree. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. I'm born to be a tree. I have, <laughs> I, I, I have done that job. I, yes. I figure in every couple or every two people that want to dance, one of them doesn't really want to do it. So <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's, that's, that's one of the major ingredients for a dance craze is that it, it works for people who, who don't want to or can't dance. So you've got <laughs> yeah. that ticked. This lighting is terrible. That it's thing either, looks great. It's either have a charged computer or, <laughs> or good lighting. <laughs> and the show can't go on without a good computer. <laughs> well, anyway, let's, let's get to Casey. <laughs> so what songs... What's what are Casey's biggest hits that I might know? 
Golden Hour. Mm. Space High Cowboy. Horse. Space Cowboy. You can have your Space Cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to fence you in. Bitch. Oh my god. Was it Biscuits and Gravy? Is that the name of that one? An early song? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I oh, I believe it's just called Biscuits. Uh, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> it's, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what style of musician she is based on these song names and i'm i can't well, i don't guess? know i don't know i <laughs> she they, they sound like uh, <laughs> is she like weird on yankovic <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay here's the hint she looks like this <laughs> like okay, weird yeah so. <laughs> so yeah no so she's um well, I, I, I'm sure she's very, very good. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how to guess musicians. They're just come on, come on. By the looks titles. of her, so she's a um, pop singer. Kind of. Oh, um, I, I don't know. I'm trying to think of genres of music. All I can think of is weird Al Yankovic and pop. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. A... I'll give you a hint. The United States. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. It's, it's, so she's from the US. She sings national anthems. <laughs> like no, this no. What's, what a, what's I... a music that we're good at? <laughs> uh, most musics I would uh, Yeah, I guess so. Huh? <laughs> I... It's kind of our thing. So not rap, not, no. not, like she's no. not a rapper. Not, well, think of the, uh, the American not. South. Most country. Popular. Yes. Yeah, she's a country Oh, okay. Oh, country. She doesn't look like a country singer there, but I don't know what a country singer looks like. She, um, you know, she actually has an exhibit at the Country Music Hall of Fame. Whoa. Oh. So next time you're there, Colin. She kind of transcends yeah. the genre, though, I would say. Definitely, definitely. You know, she's a country singer, but you're not going to hear her on country radio. <laughs> you're yeah. you're going to hear her on the college radio station. Yeah, say, say hello to Dirks Bentley while you're over looking for her <laughs> at, at country <laughs> radio. Uh, you know, I just love this Casey Musgraves. I, I like her Christmas special fine enough. Um, you know, I, I love the Christmas special. I would have casted it differently. That's that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm not trying to be a shady bitch, but <laughs> she could have had better guests. Who were her guests? Can you? Or do you um, want to say their names now that you're? I know, because I don't want Camila Cabello to watch this. And then be like, I thought Mary liked me. I, yeah. <laughs> she's, she's always right so now, nice to my right, face. Right now she's balling up her painting and throwing it in the bin. She's quitting. <laughs> well, I always thought Mary didn't like me, but I don't know. I figured maybe it was in my head. But, um, oh, yeah. So she's in it. A lot of like problematic people are in it. It's, uh, <laughs> it's Woody, Woody Allen, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, it's um, Camila Cabello and um, what's her name? Lana Del Rey and Woody Allen and, and TJ Miller. And he actually makes a bomb threat. <laughs> um, and, uh, I think and you think it could have been cast better? Yes. And she has, um, what's his name? Dan Levy from, um, you know, Eugene Levy's son. Oh, yeah. uh, from Schitt's Creek. Yes, yes. And he narrates it and, you know, sort of, uh, you know, the, the bit he's doing is like, I'm so cranky to be narrating this. La-di-da, I guess Casey's going to do another duet. And, you know, I'm just sort of like, I don't even know if I want that in a Christmas special. I might want someone to be cheerier. Or if you're gonna be cranky, you should be like um like a Muppet. 
I don't want to see a cranky mm. human. That's sort of how I feel. Um, her song, John Prine, is one of my favorites, but that's Ooh. mostly because I love John Prine. Uh, yep. You know, there's there's bits of them doing duets on YouTube. It's true, I've seen them. You know, I'm really taking a risk. I often like to trace before I start, but I'm just free balling right now. My camera setup is atrocious, so it's kind of hard to paint and to paint here and then talk here. I think I'm going to sporadically put this on camera. And plus, it's more important to have happy on camera. How is happy? He looks, yeah. Is that, He's in uh, heaven. Is that a bone for cleaning his teeth or do, you know, it's, do it's dogs have those over there denty sticks oh for sure because um, i'm jealous of them i want i want yeah. those for humans i mean you you could chew on them no one's stopping you <laughs> yeah well that's true <laughs> <laughs> um you know it's not marketed as as um a teeth cleaner but i i heard a little rumor <laughs> <laughs> that all bones clean their teeth <laughs> oh really did happy tell you that or <laughs> yeah because <laughs> yeah, he, he, said, he um, could be and really the expensive ones uh more so yeah um, <laughs> i think i know happy's game <laughs> <laughs> And they say you can um, stay up as late as you want, <laughs> and you'll <laughs> see. A, you'll get a healthy coat. Now, Colin. Yes. You and I hung out every day last year at Fringe, wouldn't you say? Fringe. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. And we were flyering at the same time, and mm -hmm. we were. And lots of comedians would have fallen into a pattern of competition and hated each other because we were on at the yeah, same yeah. time, oh, next yeah. door to each other. Uh -huh. But we we didn't do that. We yeah, you know, we got I think on. a lot of people were you know out there, and they were like, "You guys should fight," and we yeah. were like, "No." <laughs> That's we said. Uh, we know that's what Edinburgh wants, but yeah. we we don't need. We can rise above that. Wow. We were. Did both. you? Um, that's interesting. That had never even occurred to me. I guess because of my um, sunny American disposition. So that's, in yeah, previous, that's it. In previous years, uh, did you have bad flyer neighbors or feel competitive with them? Uh, no. It. I. I, I I save my competitiveness for other things, I, mm. I think. And there's so many other things to compete with in Edinburgh, like mm. the rain, <laughs> the rain, oh, sure. uh, getting getting splashed, and uh, the I, I I don't know if I showed them to you. I had tattoos of my flyer that I put on my shins, oh, yeah. and uh -huh. that I was competing with that because it was sore trying to get them off <laughs> they just tangled into the hair on my legs oh no and they were very painful <laughs> for temporary tattoos oh they were very God. painful uh Are so you i had lots were temporary yeah well they're gone now <laughs> and, my legs, and my legs are still there so oh, okay <laughs> i suppose all tattoos are kind of temporary in a way <laughs> without true. wanting to get too depressing <laughs> but yeah, and I put my application in for a show for next year. I don't know if next year is going to have a fringe, but oh. I hope they do, and I want to go back. Yeah. It, Heck, maybe uh, I should do that. Yeah, but there. And well, ask maybe for it the... won't happen, but might as I, well uh, uh, set yourself up to do it if, if it uh, yeah happens. i'm feeling more optimistic that it will happen you know i'm really taken aback by all this vaccine talk because i had felt like i'm not gonna be able to do anything until 
2025. If it ever gets better, it might not even get. That was sort of where I was at. And then I feel like all of a sudden, everything was like, oh yeah, vaccines are gonna come out in December. Anyways, and I was like, what? You guys made it sound like, whatever. I thought we were gonna be quarantining forever. You don't seem excited. <laughs> I, I feel like you could, like, <laughs> you could still do nothing for the next yeah, right. five years, I think. Yeah. <laughs> there are at least some of them. But yeah, I was, no. I felt, I felt lucky that I think I was surviving okay being indoors. Yeah. But I'm happy that people who want to go outside will have a vaccine. Yeah. They deserve it. You know, this, this music we're listening to is so freaking awesome. What is this? What is this? What is <laughs> well, this, this is, of course, the first signal from... <laughs> that's what I like about Christmas. What? By, <laughs> by young comedian Tommy McNamara. Shut up. Yes. Wow. <laughs> who just had to Google Santa Claus for his drawing <laughs> to make sure he was doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> to give you my bona fides, but uh, <laughs> wow. yeah. The I was hearing different styles, and there, Tommy. Yes, have, I tried have, to. Have you did? Did I hear Bowie or Dylan or both? Uh, you know, I did. I, I I was trying to yeah, trying to get a little bit of everything. You know, trying to, there, there's one where I was trying to sound like Al Green, and after I realized I sound like Towley. Uh, for some. <laughs> <laughs> That's my falsetto. Uh, I'll, I'll know, point it out. I'm hearing a little bit of Elton John. Am I wrong? Well, he's uh, one of my all-time faves. I read his uh, read his book this year. I'm a big Elton John fan. Um, but yeah, I try to do a little bit. I do. It's silly. Um, like there's a there's the part in the part where he goes to rehab. He he put prints like a three page letter he wrote to cocaine where he's talking to cocaine like it's a person. And <laughs> I was like, well, this is just silly. But all the most of it is is very interesting and great. So you didn't like the cocaine letter? I, <laughs> I was just shocked it was printed in full, basically. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Right. Did, coca did cocaine ever ride back? <laughs> <laughs> you would hope. Dear Elton, we're better off apart. <laughs> Colin, what is um, what's your fam been doing during core? Don't you have a big fam? Yeah. So, well, they've just been spread out. Well. M Everyone else in the family is in Ireland, who just came out of a six-week lockdown today. So wow. everyone's everyone's pretty happy uh, to be back inside shops. And I think they had a strict one because Christmas is a, a good the, the, people people like Christmas in Ireland. I know. In, <laughs> <laughs> I know that's going to be a shock for people. Oh, that's um, interesting. So, so <laughs> So that they're, they're uh, so they're all they're all good. They're my parents are having several Chris Christmases, different Christmases with different grandchildren. So they're it's been turning into like a month long festival for them. They're gonna have fun, and uh, yeah. So it's, and yeah, we've we've tried to do a fa few family things online, but there's too many people. It's too hard. It uh, it's hard to do a quiz with thirty people, <laughs> on, on, and thirty people on uh, ten computers. So it um, especially we like to get competitive, and we, the 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 real game of of debating with each other is lost when we're online. But yeah, so what I'm do you staying guys in debate about. Usually, uh, questions, quiz questions. So, um, like, uh, we're, we're now, there's now too many of us to do a, a normal board game. So, usually, one of the family members will do a, a uh, table quiz oh. at Christmas. And if, if you don't do your research properly and have the questions right, you'll get, you'll get attacked. 
it, it, it feels like you're getting cross-examined <laughs> by a group of lawyers. <laughs> if you, if, so that's certainly how I feel. I, I feel like I feel like I'd make a good lawyer when I'm upset at a quiz, and and I decide that I have my team has lost confidence in the procedure, and and we, we've decided we've called a missed quiz, and we 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 want another run around. But yeah, it. Uh, but yeah. Do you have um? Do you have pals that live nearby that you can hang out yeah. with? Yeah, I'm. I'm lucky. There's lots of comics who live where I am, uh, near where I am in North London. So yeah, I've, and I, I, I feel bad that I've I've been used to socializing online with people for about ten years. I think Christmas ten years ago. Mm -hmm. I remember telling people that I was having a few drinks online with people, chatting to them on video messenger for Christmas, and they th thought it was the most depressing sounding thing <laughs> that you could do. Um, and now look at them. Now they're doing it. <laughs> and it still is <laughs> for lots of people. <laughs> but I I'm just very fortunate that it's it, I'm, I'm used to a depressing kind of apocalyptic life. I like it. Mm. I went to a quote-unquote party the other day on a site that I think was called Gather. And how was, was it? Parlor. Parlor was the site. Parlor is the alt-right Twitter. No! <laughs> <laughs> and how was it? Um, you know, it was interesting. It was like a... It's like one person makes the gather. I think it's called gather, and they make like a. It looks like a, like an eight-bit video game board. Like it looks like ah. Zelda, kind of. And then your friends can like walk around the little house or map that you've built, and when you are near someone like within five spaces or whatever your guys's video chats open and you can video chat with each other but then if you walk away your video chats you don't see each other's video chats and so it mimics a real party where you talk to someone and then after a while you're like yep well i'm gonna go see what else is going on uh, yeah um so I was kind of nervous at first because I was like, that's the worst part of going to parties. And that's what's yeah. so nice about the internet. <laughs> um, yeah, the Irish exit is so it. underrated. That it's the best way to leave anything. And so, um, anyway, then it eventually was revealed that everyone in there uh was shy and bad at parties and so then it felt more like an internet loser chat room which i'm more comfortable with where yeah like we were going around like like one girl was saying like oh i do this thing where like if uh like if i need to be alone and I'm at a party, but I like can't leave yet because uh, like uh, my car is blocked in or whatever. I'll just um, start washing dishes, and then we were like, "Oh yeah, that's smart. People probably won't bother you." Okay. Well, does anyone ever like say you know try to make you feel weird that you're washing dishes? And she was like, "No." So we were mostly just sharing advice of. Um, how to not get over social anxiety. Yeah. So I enjoyed that. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah Kuda says she thinks it's gather.town. Check in. Is that online or is that on your... Um uh switch with it, it's on my, oh wait someone left me a present i have to go pick it up let's see what is this mm -hmm. 
God, this music rocks. <laughs> oh, I think it's better than my drawing. No. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. So here's where we're at so far. Oh, Santa. Oh, my God. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm trying to do like a say anything type of thing. Santa, I'm over here. <laughs> I realized that Santa was facing the wrong way. <laughs> so I decided to clarify that yeah. with a speech bubble. <laughs> I can't hear your radio. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, my case is it's really slowly coming along. It's nothing to write home about. I kind of got pretty distracted with her lips. Um, it would be great if you just painted Weird Al <laughs> slowly. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is like, doesn't look good. What if I bring it closer? This is, oh, yeah. It'll look, That's it'll look good. good later. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's is, hard with people that are really beautiful because this is this is where I am at the moment. I'm oh. doing a, a wow, a, you're a, good. A, a morose kind of sulky Santa Claus. This because oh, this is because this is before he has Christmas radio. Back oh, when yes. there was no seasonal music and he just had to listen to. I like summer dance and stuff like that instead oh, of Christmas wow. songs. Wow. And I'm guessing it was much harder for him to get pumped up for Christmas without appropriate Damn. music. Damn. You know, the things we take for granted. Having Christmas music, that is. Mm. Um, you know, it's hard to paint beautiful people like Casey Musgraves because, you know, the pressure is really on to make sure that they look good. Whereas people that are just kind of regular attractive level, you know, it's easier. It can look kind of like them. You don't have is, to be perfect. Is she someone that you think would be upset if you had painted her badly? Um, I think she would be like, oh, that's so sweet. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't look like that. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. I'm not going to post it on my Instagram, though. That's, like, not what she sounds like. I'm trying. <laughs> if if somebody said that, if she said that about your painting, would you, because you're a fan, would you agree with her? Or would you fight back and say, no, it's not, that's exactly what you look like? Would you fight back? No, no. I, I would listen to her. Um, when I was doing a lot of painting commissions for people one time a guy asked me for a portrait of him and his girlfriend and then I gave it to him and he was like hey, sorry I'm making my girlfriend I feel like she'll want to look prettier so oh really? Like, oh God, no problem so then I did another pass and made the girlfriend look more handsome. Yeah. No one wants to get a portrait of themselves where they look okay. It's, I, th I think it it depends on the fashion. I think like a hundred, few hundred years ago, some people said, yeah, mm -hmm. paint me the way I actually look and I'll appreciate the honesty. Mm. Oh, this music rocks. You know, in case there's anybody who just tuned in and wasn't tuned in earlier, this music rocks. What is this music? Why, this is <laughs> Tommy McNamara's <laughs> famous EP. I think I'm starting to like what? Christmas. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, <laughs> this is the one where well, I sound like Tommy, by the way. I want to buy it. I want to buy it. How do I do that? Well, wouldn't you know, you can go on TommyMcNamara.BandCamp.com. Oh, that's awesome. It's only $5. Hmm. Hmm. And I'll also be selling my crayon drawing for um, about the price of Mary's Irishman viewing party. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
The you, I, I I feel like just to clarify, Mary, it's the Irish, the Irishman, the movie. It's not an <laughs> Irishman. It's no, the no, Irishman because they're doing that for free right now. <laughs> yeah, that's um. it. It's, unless unless you want to say to everyone watching, they now owe you. Um, Oh, $1,500. That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> you guys owe me. <laughs> Colin, what would your um what would your fringe show have been this year? This year it 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 will potentially be my fringe show next year, right? I uh had an idea to do a show where I was um, wearing loads and loads of t-shirts at the same time. Um, wearing loads of, because I, I, I'm kind of fascinated and I find bad funny t-shirts really funny. Mm -hmm. So I was going to be wearing, I was going to make about 40 of them and be wearing them all at once and, and take them all off and tell a story as I removed layer uh, after layer of t-shirts. Um, and uh, I, I did do it in Dublin as like a an early version of the show, mm -hmm. and it was fun. I, I did half an hour with twenty three t shirts on, oh and um, wow! And it was it was good fun. Were they hard to take off when you had so many? On? Some of them, yeah, because I had to layer them up in sizes. So I was like, mm. uh, I described in the program for the festival in Dublin. I described myself as a sentient onion, uh, peeling oh. peeling back my layers. <laughs> so, um, so so yeah, I had to change the sizes and stuff like that. And even at that, it was it was hard. It wasn't as hard as I, as I thought, though. So, because I told people I, I wanted to do sixty T-shirts, and they said, "No, you're crazy." And I said, "No." <laughs> I, I can do I can do it and they, and I, I feel like I can but I, I'm thinking 40 mm -hmm. because the problem is how much time it takes to put them on um, mm. it's a it's a slow process putting them on uh, you put them did you put them on at the theater or at home at the theater luckily I had space but <laughs> I think if I was doing Edinburgh I might put them on at home and walk to my show Mm -hmm. um, and flyer you don't need a jacket <laughs> in my t-shirts yeah and yeah although if it did start to rain I would soak up so much water yeah <laughs> it would be very heavy um, but yeah so I, that's what I, I still might do it was I, um, I yeah I had fun doing it I wanted to do something a bit different to just straight stand up Mm -hmm. Which is what I did last year. I wish I had a good filmed version of my show. You could easily bring that back to Edinburgh. Okay. Do it I'll again. Do yeah it I, I i would go see it again it's funny <laughs> it is Sometimes i think of my show and i'm like that's funny do you I'm like laugh? that's funny and i wish i had a yeah. good filmed version of it so that people can see it i always get worried like i know there's a camera so subconsciously uh, yeah i ruin my show <laughs> Well, I did tape it a couple times, and I felt like I just wasn't happy with any of them. So oh, yeah. I would want to do it again and maybe, I don't know, put more production design into it or something. And then I think it would look better. So I'm thinking about um, buying a car. Do you guys have any tips? Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, I'm not good with cars mm. or driving. Mm. You could oh. buy, I, I, do you know what I get very often is the London Underground. If you could get your hands on one of those, 
They okay. are very efficient and easy to drive if okay. you have the rail. And they go underground and <laughs> so you don't get stuck in traffic. I, that's what I would recommend. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. I'll just look up how much that costs. Just buy one carriage. You don't need the full. Hmm. <laughs> Are you thinking of getting like a Chevrolet Suburban, Mary? No, I'm thinking about getting a Honda Fit. Ooh. Ooh. Is that from the same guys that make the Wii Fit? No, no, that's a common misconception. Mm. It's actually from <laughs> Honda. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when you get to the dealership, first thing you should do is find the biggest guy there and punch him out. Okay, well, if that's the custom. <laughs> Andrew has had a Civic for seven years. I like it. You know what? I love the Hondas. I want a hatchback. <laughs> <laughs> I want a hatchback or a wagon. So sorry, Civic. <laughs> oh, you should even if you, you get it, you should put a big bow on it so you can have one of those moments for the holiday. <laughs> I was looking at car gurus and like I was looking at like cars, uh, you know, within such and such miles of my zip code. Um, for seven thousand dollars or less, and you know, they're not the best cars in the world. Yeah. You know, they're a little bit older, but you know, there's nothing nasty. You know, they're fine enough cars, and one of them had a bow on it. It's like a super like regular <laughs> schmegular like 2005 car. I love it. And I was like, wow, it does look better <laughs> with the car on it with the bow on it. Just drive around with the bow on forever. Yeah. <laughs> hmm, let's, you guys, one of the, I'm gonna see what's happening with Happy Cam. The, I I can tell you about the weirdest car I have seen in a long time, and it was this year early one morning when I was out in London during lockdown, I saw a Nissan or a Nissan, is that mm -hmm. what you say in the US? And it was decorated with Abe from AIDS Odyssey. AIDS Odyssey. What is that? The, the game that was on the PlayStation 1 about 20 years ago, oh, AIDS wow. Odyssey. <laughs> I didn't know and that game. Well. So, it was, but it's, it's, um, I feel like I should get find a photograph because it was such a strange choice because the car wasn't that old, but <laughs> the decoration the decoration was from a game that was ten years older than the car. So I feel like <laughs> I feel like people won't believe me if I don't show a photograph. Um, no so way, that's me, what it was. That's that's the guy who was on the car. So let, and the the. the as surprising as it was to see a car decorated with him, the thing that was least surprising was the car was crash damaged. Oh, of <laughs> <course. was> yeah. <laughs> if, if, you, if you choose to have him on your car, you're not making good choices, I, I, I feel. But um, let me was find the, it. Is that the main character in the game? That's the... Yeah, yeah. It's a game that I never played, but I, I remember it being advertised. It was... Um, he was... Uh, yeah, he, he, he was quite the character. I think he would scratch himself and burp and sneeze. He, 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 mm. um, he, yeah, he, he, he was, he was very comfortable with himself. That's, <laughs> well, that maybe, uh, that, that's good. Yeah. That's the main thing I remember <laughs> about him uh, based on my very little experience of, of, of the game. That's but, what, uh, that, yeah, that's what they're trying to communicate it, that they're comfortable with themselves. Because, <laughs> yeah. He, but yeah, I, I don't know what a yeah. I, I, it's definitely the weirdest thing. I, I don't know. I, I could have never. It's. It, I, I would have never expected somebody to. Um, <laughs> I don't know what's the str what's the strangest thing you could decorate your car with. I, I don't. I, I couldn't th think of anything weirder than this. Like that even is so bizarre. Like even like blood is. <laughs> <laughs> to, spray, to spray their car with blood and air, uh, I still don't think that would be uh, as as strange as this. But 
I, I, I'm struggling to. I'm hoping. I, I'm definitely going to find it because, as as a number of people I told about asked, did, did was this a dream? And it wasn't. <laughs> it uh, as much as I, I'm not uh, as imaginative enough as, as as I would need to to dream such a thing. And my I'm neglecting my Santa Claus. Ooh, That's it. This. That's the car. That Whoa. is the exact wow. car. And so it's it's looking. It must be the same car. Once I find it, because uh, I'll have the number plate. But looking, it's looking in good condition there. Back when, um, back when I saw it, it was in a much more sorry state. <laughs> so it's like the one episode of Pimp My Ride that they refuse to air. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> and I do, I do miss that show and the their placement of TV screens, which you'd always need to be outside the car to enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> Well, like yes. if you're hanging out in the trunk of your car, yeah, <laughs> you're gonna want a PS2. <laughs> I'm sure they did a revisit of of. Oh, so here we go. Yeah, I found it. AIDS. <laughs> so yeah, look at it with it's, and I think it is the same number plate as we were just looking at. Oh my um, goodness. So a badly crashed, damaged. It was it was sitting there for a while. So it's a, so I, I I really want to know more about what the person was thinking because it can't have been a competition win because as I said the game was ten years older than the car. <laughs> so <laughs> it'd be like a, a Parappa the Rapper motorbike or something. <laughs> I, I, I don't I don't know what the equivalent is. It, um, because it's, yeah, it was, it was a snood it was van. A, a snood. <laughs> I'd love a snood van. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Really need a proper desk. I'm is, on a, is that a on your chair. Christmas list? Oh. oh, I don't know. I feel like I could find something around this house. That's kind of a desk. Right now, um, let's see. My paper is on a chair. My computer is on top of two boxes. Pretty good. <laughs> Liking that lyric. <laughs> I can relate to the expensive wrapping paper for a problem. Oh, you'll take a bath on that. The worst wrapping disaster I ever had was when I cut my headphones wire. I, I was mm. had my headphones on listening to music and not paying attention and sliced through wrapping paper and headphones oh, all at no. once. I thought that story was going to be way more extreme, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't. I don't. Uh, the I'm sure the worst wrapping well, that's... <laughs> paper incident. <laughs> wrapping paper well, fails. So, I so chopped you're... off my <laughs> headphones. <laughs> well, I'm, so you're saying you don't think it has legs as a TV show? As like, <laughs> as like a six, no, a no, six, six part that. series in worst <laughs> wrapping. No, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, well, has anyone had any worse? Uh, well, we would need something worse than cutting <laughs> headphones, I think. <laughs> like, oh, uh, yeah, no. Well, that's uh, what the first season. Could my be my that. brain is already thinking of much worse ones, like wrapping up something living too tight. Hmm. <laughs> like that's too that's too far. That would. I'm already rejecting <laughs> ideas for for this TV show. Well, so, come on, the show has to be about wrapping paper. Come on. Yeah. And well, uh, we could we could squeeze aside to like tape disasters as well. It wouldn't just be proper paper. So I'm tape. listening. <laughs> <laughs> we could get some sponsorship from like a cello tape or Scotch. someone. Scotch, yeah. 
the the Scotch disasters. <laughs> but it's about tape and wrapping paper rather than anything mm-hmm. alcohol related. Oh, I I have a question. Yes. About your part of the world. Yes. Do people like the Spice Girls movie? Oh, it's it's I, I've forgotten they had one. Um but I think people do. People like Richard E. Grant. I remember he was in it as their manager. Mm. They're a big fan of him. I think that I think it's it it it, it has to been repeated on TV uh, since mm. the nineties. I think if it was to come on TV or Netflix, people would be a big would would be big fans of it. Oh sure, yeah. Me I think people like this Spice Girls. We used to watch the VHS tape all the time. Oh really? And we both feel this way. We both feel that it's like an alt comedy masterpiece that no one has watched except for like eight year old girls. Oh um, you should like it's super, super funny. Like it's you should add that to your jokes. list of watch alongs for that people can it's so it's sponsor. so funny. Oh my god! I, I must rewatch it, because um, it's like my memory of it. funny. Because you my would memory... think, oh, you could just put them in a movie and people would watch it. Yeah, but it's actually written funny. Because did they try to write it like I think some of the Beatles the comedy yeah, kind of definitely. some of the Beatles movies and stuff like that. It's. Hard Day's it's Night that, vibe. Yeah, that famous British humor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to hear me quote the movie? Yeah. Yes. All right. Should I wear the little Gucci dress? The little Gucci dress. Or the little Gucci dress? <laughs> is that... Oh, uh, no. Spot- Why don't you is, wear is... the little Gucci dress? Oh, thanks, Emma. <laughs> was, that was a posh spice line, I assume. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wow. Because I, I think for a while, and it maybe still is, the the staircase that they, the hotel that they sang, or filmed the video for Wannabe in, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think that that was a kind of a tourist attraction for a while. It was like, that, it was up there with the Titanic for the most popular on-screen staircases of the 90s. <laughs> that's, well, that's my guess. That's... <laughs> well, you're but an expert. Next, <laughs> next time you're back in London, we'll track it down for you. Nice. You can... Yeah, that would rock. There's you can also, visit that. Um, there's a we lot of fun do... visual gags, like their tour bus. <clears throat> it's one of those um, red buses, isn't it? <laughs> Huh? It's one of those red lo- classic London buses that they have. Oh yeah, it's a with the decker, Union Jack. With the Union Jack, and yeah. they do a lot of visual gags. Like from the outside, it looks like you know a compact double decker bus, and then when they yeah. film inside, it's like intentionally not hiding the fact that they're filming in like a huge warehouse that's super oh, yeah. big. <laughs> And there's also an epic scene where the bus does a jump over, <laughs> over like a bridge like speed. that's opening. Yeah. Oh, is it like Tower Bridge, the one, the yes. famous? Mm-hmm. And so then it's like them behind the wheel, like, ah! And then it cuts to like a tiny toy bus, like, like <laughs> doing a little jump. <laughs> You know, there's great gags, and I'm just worried that there's people out there who like funny things, not, and they don't know they're not that this movie it. is funny. It makes me worried. I will look it back up. I'll, next time I'm in Piccadilly Circus, I'll start asking people, have they nice. seen <laughs> the Spice Girls? My friend says it's good. <laughs> mm-hmm. God, people love Spice World. Pretty much the coolest viewers in the world. Damn. Don't forget, you could get a a cool t-shirt. 
I think it's really cool. Let's see, where do we have picture? Oh, there she is. Oh, you know, it's a pick of happy. A painting, of course. And the shirt is pink, and you look good in pink, so, you know, check out the merch store. Come on, look at all those shirts. Damn. Pretty cool. Does Happy have a preference for how, you, when you paint him, does he have a favorite side or a favorite look? Yes. <laughs> oh, does he? Yes. He refuses to be painted from the from the right side. He'll Smart. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh hell yeah! You got a T-shirt. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tommy mentioned. He has Chadwick's in his family. I do, um, yes. Related? Yeah, I have to figure out what yeah. part of uh, Ireland uh, they are from. But yeah. So, yeah, so the, 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 my dad's side, the Chadwick's are originally from a place in Ireland called Money Gaul, mm -hmm. which is where Barack Obama's ancestor, Barack Obama's Irish auntie, like seventh removed. Uh, mm. Was from Money Gaul, so he visited the village in 2000. And I think oh, wow. 11. He actually came over, and it's it's a really small village, so he had some surviving people. But my dad and some of his brothers uh, got invited to the pub to watch him drink a pint of Guinness. <laughs> oh my god, cool. that's amazing! It uh, it's because it's such a small village. I think there's two pubs, like in one shop. It's it's such a tiny area. And most of my uncles who live there were farmers. Mm. So, um, so it was funny hearing about they got they got a visit from the CIA a few few days before the president <laughs> arrived, and they were asked where they would be on the farm the day Barack Obama was in town. And most most of them who are kind of stubborn and have a strange old Irish sense of humor just were trying to avoid, just were annoyed that they were getting asked the question. And they oh, said, sure. I will be wherever the farm needs me. Don't You, you can't tell me what to do. <laughs> you know the first thing about farming. Yeah. Because it yeah. sounds like you don't. <laughs> you city boy with your fancy suit. <laughs> you know nothing. Yeah. But the what's fun is the... Um, the the landlord of the pub after after Brack and Michelle had their drinks, the um, their security took the glasses away, and the landlord said, "Hey, I, I want I I was hoping to keep those as a souvenir," and um, the CIA said, "Oh yeah, you can have them. We just want to clean them." <laughs> so <laughs> they wanted to clean them in a secure, sterilizing way. I don't know if their fear was. That some of the clone local him. farmers would get, yeah, Barack Obama's DNA and clone him, and then we'd have like a country full of presidents. <laughs> I'm sure that's what the fear was. <laughs> yeah, we could replace Barack Obama with a a fake one who's big into farming and is going to tell farmers they can go wherever they want when they want. No. Daylight savings every day. <laughs> we can move the clocks whenever you no. want. <laughs> What kind of stuff do they farm? Uh, they do a mix, uh, a mix of animals and crops, mainly animals. Mm -hmm. uh, which that's what I, 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 when I was younger, I wanted to be a farmer, but I, I grew out of that. I, 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 I felt like I, I got enough of being a farmer when I lived in the country. I had a heart to heart with some of the sheep and they, they, <laughs> they told me it wasn't the way to go. Seems hard. Come on, let me see your art. Let me see your art. Colin, you go first this time. Oh, because I'm on my iPad. I, I, I'm finding it hard to turn the camera. So he's sulking, listening to the radio. 
it's based on it's it's based loosely on uh, a Raphael painting. So mm-hmm. people might recognize it. Well, yeah, yeah, that's what that, we were thinking. The Ninja same Turtle. One that guns, <laughs> same ones. Yeah, same one that Guns and Roses used some of his work as well. But yeah, mm. I, I'm a big fan of sulky people and sulking. I think it's something everyone should do, just not too much of. It's like it's something I think that's healthy in in very tiny doses to indulge yourself. Mm-hmm. And then get perspective and snap out of it. Someone's a fan of the doldrums. (laughs) (laughs) This is mine. It's less. It's a different mood. Oh, okay. So, what are they saying now? Or some of it is like diagram pointing and describing. Yeah, there's kind of a key, a legend for people to know. You got young Rudolph, uh, young Santa, young Mrs. Claus. Oh. Wow. Um, and I had to identify like the, the toys. <laughs> so it's like the X Men Days of Future Past. This is early, <laughs> early <laughs> Santa Claus and Rudolph. <laughs> I should draw it. Uh, young Sheldon, as was pointed out in the comments. <laughs> uh, that was the final piece of this. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. I have to Google Young Sheldon here. I watched an episode of Young Sheldon. What'd you think? Crazy. I couldn't believe it. (laughs) (laughs) I was really just like, what is happening with TV? This is so weird. (laughs) Um, I mean, I haven't really seen that much. Big Bang Theory. Sometimes I watch it if it's on. Um, but I was just like, this is preposterous that they took, like, it seemed like they just took a show that they were gonna make. And they were like, this will get more viewers if we say that it's the guy from that show when he was young. Oh, okay. So let's do that. <laughs> like after the fact um and it's like single cam it's like the wonder years kind of it's like single cam with uh narration of like i learned something about my dad that day and like learning life lessons but then it just doesn't make sense that he lives in that universe but then as a grown-up he lives in like a multi-camera laugh track world what do you mean your childhood wasn't single camera and now that you're grown up you have multiple cameras and different lighting (laughs) is that common (laughs) yeah well for me it's now that i've grown up and moved to london i have multiple cameras following me all the time Uh, yeah if you like went to college and then all of a sudden there was a laugh track after everything anyone said Mm. you'd be like this is weird (laughs) I don't think I did Young Sheldon Justice, but I'll show you in a sec. The bow tie was really hard. Oh, yeah. Tommy, are you doing anything for Xmas? I don't know. It's so, uh, it's, it's sad, you know? You used to, yeah. We always have a big family thing, so yeah, it's a bummer. Yeah. Used to have a lot of traditions and everything, but, uh, now that we got that vaccine coming soon, it's going to be in our stockings. And we'll... 
<laughs> I'm getting ready for next Christmas. Getting paint on my arm. What kind of paints are you using, Mary? The same ones you usually? Mm -hmm. I'm using acrylic paint. What's your favorite song on the album, Tommy? Is it is um, it your single? <laughs> I, I would say it is um, the second one called Christmas Boy. I think turned out the best. I would say. Yeah. Um, so I'm shooting a music video for that this week. That time. Uh -huh. It's going to involve Nick Nanny, who has probably been on this show, maybe or uh, not yet. Not yet. But I need uh, to find the perfect co-guest for him. Oh yeah. How did you record it? I went to a little studio uh, in Brooklyn. It's called Little Cheddar Studios. And uh, I, I originally was just going to go there to do one song because I wanted to do it for a sketch. And I was just going to have the song. Like, oh, wasn't it funny that I actually recorded the song for the sketch? But then I had so much fun doing it and um, just playing music and recording it and being in a studio with all these instruments I could try. And uh, I loved it so much. I ended up booking more time and putting uh, six songs out. So I had a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> I would have Nick Nanny do that cheating. Yes. <laughs> I do have to have him do that. Would Nick be the the tree or the Santa Claus? You know, I I feel like it'd be a crime to have him uh that static. Be you know? the tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. He's he's got too much movement in him. <laughs> but Nick is going to play the Grinch in this video. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, yeah, I got a nice Grinch costume for him. Very excited. Tommy, were you at or in Cartoon Monsoon when Patty Harrison played the Grinch? No, I was not there. Yeah. I would have loved to that see that. insane. <laughs> <laughs> Did she do, like, big, like, a lot of makeup and... Yeah, she painted her whole face green <laughs> <laughs> and was like, you know, sexually demented. <laughs> oh, I'd love to do Cartoon Monsoon sometime. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we have to get you on. You know, there's this amazing inside joke that's <laughs> hilarious. Um, I actually, I forget how it started. Was it, was it that me and Joe were saying, we want you on the show, and Tim was like, we already had him on? I, I had like very it? recently done the show. <laughs> and I guess <laughs> someone had forgotten so they pitched me as a next guest, and then just kind of gaslit Tim into thinking that I hadn't done it yet when I had just been on it. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah, we keep saying that, you know, we have to have him on sometime, and it's actually kind of awkward that we haven't asked him to do the show yet because, you know, he's a friend, we've had a bunch of other people on, he probably feels weird that we haven't asked him, and, you know, Tim, if you're okay with it, we would love to ask Tommy to do the show. And then he says, mm, he's already done it! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> that is incredible voice work. <laughs> Nick was on Wine O'Clock with Annie Donnelly and Devin Fossil. And Nick and Devin were super fun together. Ooh. 
Annie and Devin are so funny. Um, <laughs> I'm a big fan of um, when Annie is mean to people yes. on social media. She's so funny at that. Colin, do you know what reads are? Like when reads. drag, yeah, when drag queens like read people. No, it's... kind of like you roast someone, but it's like you try to be mean. Yeah, and it's sort of like on the other person to like, you know, come on, everyone else is like getting one. Don't be a baby. Okay. Um, but yeah, there's supposed to be like pretty personal <laughs> or like going yeah. after something that you suspect yeah. the person is sensitive about. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. And, um, so she had this crazy Facebook thread that was like hundreds of comments a couple years ago where it said like if you like this comment I'll read you and if you know her and have seen her comedy, you should know that she's serious and she should <laughs> okay. like it yeah. unless you're <laughs> And I think some people really were not ready. They were like, ha ha, yeah, right, we're all friends here. And so, so she, you know, there was uh, saying jokes about, you know, you have a boring personality. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Um, <laughs> I think she called me a John Cougar Mellencamp bitch or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> <It was> very... <laughs> um, you know, making fun of people's looks. <laughs> <laughs> and some people. Some people got upset. Got upset. About it. <laughs> and then maybe like a year ago, or maybe less, you did another one on Twitter. <laughs> this time the tweet and was did the like, same thing happen hey i'm it's... instead she tweeted like hey guys i'm having like a hard time i'm just feeling like i'm not funny and you know like no one cares about me i'm like a mom and i'm not successful and you know i could just really use a boost right now and so then a bunch of people replied like you are so funny i remember the first time i saw you perform the blah 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 and like you are such an inspiration to me and then she would reply with like stuff about <laughs> stuff about their looks <laughs> or their personality <laughs> that's so funny and i think by then did people everyone... get upset again or do, do people know well i thought in? no one got upset but i recently learned that someone <laughs> ah. um like contacted her like are we cool <laughs> Oh, oh, really? <laughs> it's it's something it in Ireland we we show our affection for each other by being mean and teasing each other and it's mm -hmm. something that it's a habit you you have to get out of when you when you leave Ireland <laughs> uh, you realize you can't say anything so quite so harsh to people or or treat them mean. Hmm. Oh, so this is your favorite song? Did you say yeah, Christmas yeah. Boy? Christmas Boy, yeah, yeah. That's a good. Um, I forget who, but someone, when I played them this song, they were like, that's so cool you got backup singers. And it's very clearly me. It's, it's <laughs> you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I bet you. <laughs> So cool that loved. that church choir. I know. You know what? This, this is coming out okay. I might even 
It looks good. I might even, yeah. you know, post this at her and say, you better share this on your Insta story or mm. you know, tag Casey. Um, what if she responds I... by by slagging you <laughs> off? <laughs> She's going to read you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I I should be embarrassed to say this, but I'm not. I message her. I reply to her stories. Yeah. Does she heart them or anything? Nope. Uh, she she has, will. She has over a million followers, I think. Something in the millions. Mm. But I keep thinking, like, I think she would like me. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I, mean, so. I like her music, so you would think she would like me. We should start the Casey Respond to Mary challenge. Oh, God. Online. Well, I don't want to bother her. <laughs> I don't want to scare her. <laughs> you see, that's why she would like you as well. You don't want to bother her or scare her. That's a good start to any yeah. friendship. That's the sign of a good friend. I actually already made a painting of her and tagged her in it, and she didn't post it. I think that's messed up. I think she's mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you would do the show. Oh, man. That'd be a perfect pairing for Nick. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Casey Musgraves and Nick Nanny. <laughs> I would um, pick the other guest, someone who like isn't on social media at all, because I'd be like, well, she'll do the heavy lifting of promoting the show, and this other person's just funny. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, happy. So yeah, I'm thinking of going to this one car dealership. Uh, ship this week and um, maybe getting a Honda Fit. That's Are you going to get any computer game computer game characters on it <laughs> or just a bow? Yeah. How would you decorate it? Um, I looked into vanity plates. Oh, and I think I'm like I what? I might do it. Are you gonna? Uh, yeah. You don't want to spoil um, it? I don't know. I might not want to spoil it. I don't. Should I tell you? I I think I, save it up. Or is, is okay. can, so? Can you look up multiple options like you would if you were looking for like an internet or website? Address, you know, I did or? look it up, and it was available. But I also wasn't sure if the site that I was looking on was correct. So I'm pretty sure it's available. Yeah. If you gave a hint, could we try and guess? Starts with a C. Start with a C. Mm -hmm. Is uh, I'm not sure of restrictions on. Can it just say anything? Is there restrictions on letters? It's seven, and numbers, seven letters, right? Or is, isn't seven the amount of mm -hmm. characters you can have? Or no? Is it? I think you can do any amount. Mm -hmm. Is well, it like, something like Kula? Like I think. Kula. Uh -uh. uh -uh. uh -uh. No. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Mm. Hmm? Oh. Was that a clue? Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Chris Gaff? No. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Um, <laughs> how does Casey spell her name? With C? Hey, with a K. Casey Musgraves. No. So nothing we are to trash do with people her. People says, I think you are limited to seven. <gasps> I feel like I've seen ones that are less, but maybe I maybe I'm misremembering. <laughs> oh, a max of seven. Okay. Yeah, right. so you can have less. All right. Oh, so maybe that's a hint that it's less than seven. It's less than seven. Yeah. Ooh. I'll give you another hint. Five letters. Five letters starts with a C. 
it's it's that thing when you try think of c words there's only really one c word you think of <laughs> and i doubt it's that i doubt it's the plural that would be a shocking reveal <laughs> that's not my vibe that's not my vibe mm. okay <laughs> the word is very much my vibe Oh, okay. If I'm driving around and I want people to, I want people to see this vanity plate and know what's up. So cool with an extra O in there. Mm-mm-mm. Good guess. <laughs> Can you imagine if it was comic? <laughs> Oh, that would be so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Dot got her stickers. Nice. Yeah, just a friendly reminder. If you want some stickers, just uh, donate 10 bucks to the show. And email me your receipt. Otherwise, I won't know that you donated. That's how it works. <laughs> Happy starts with a C. <laughs> Chappy? The robot? Chappy? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just Christ. <laughs> that would be <laughs> That's the vibe. That's what I want people to think. When I... Is the you Christ wear, driving by? You can have it driving can. sandals and wear long robes. <laughs> <laughs> you can go driving. And you just try to count people down in traffic. Hmm. Let's see. Create Com D. These are funny. <laughs> Com D. Com D is pretty good. Com D. <laughs> because you is... can fit all of the letters, but choose not to. I, like Ooh, <laughs> yeah. I do have well, an idea. Be... Is it comfy? C O M F Y. If if what if you get a, a guess that's better? Do, do you think that's possible that someone might guess? Like Com D is pretty funny. You know what? Uh, I'm kind of offended at this point that you guys. Oh, re- that no, we're not. Is it Cupid? Consider that a hint. Huh? Cupid, cutie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is that a hint? It's a yes. I want I my license it. plate to say cutie. Awesome. <laughs> I want to drive around in my red Honda Fit. Sport edition with a like that says cutie. I love <laughs> that. I'll be driving around, beep, beep, out of my way. <laughs> Are you worried that someone, what if someone who's listening now, like what if the next time you see Tommy, he's driving a car <laughs> with the license plate cutie? <laughs> Imagine no. that. I would never. I would never. <laughs> well, you know what? I think I think it's about high time. High time is, of course, a song by Casey Musgraves. I believe it is high time that we hit up the Gamer's Den. The Gamer's Den. All right, let's get a look at this. Um, my dream man ads lib on madcakes.com. They can't use the word mad. Okay, I'm gonna need an adjective. Um, these buttons, by the way, say random word and totally random. Totally random. Ooh, can we start? Oh. It's totally random. <laughs> Well, quickly, give me an adjective. Suave. Woo! Okay, one more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Purple. 
celebrity, a celebrity name. Casey Musgraves, do you have to go with her as the theme of the Smart. show? Mm -hmm. Okay, one more celebrity. Uh, Bob Balaban. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bob Balaban. Animal. Monkey. Mm, smart. <laughs> Verb. Fencing. <laughs> or fence, I guess would be. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Fence. Fencing. Yeah, fencing. I mean, yeah, I fencing works, right? Okay. Say the tense. Yeah. Noun. Noun. <laughs> Treehouse. <laughs> I'll take another noun, please. Mm. Hospital. Mm. Mm. And you know, we'll keep in mind that it's NHS. Part yeah. of body. Um, earlobe. I saw in the comments. I think that's good. Ooh. Mm. Adverb. Yes, commenters, keep in mind there's a slight delay. So if you see anything on screen and you want to like get your answer in, just you know quickly. Okay, we'll need another adjective. Mm. Smelly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Softly, adjective, creamy. Yeah. Okay, we'll take another adjective. Happy. Part of body. Oh, someone had another. Oh, toenail, I think someone said. Yeah. Adjective. Mysterious. Oh, yes, mysterious. Mm -hmm. Noun. Football. Mm, smart. <laughs> Football or soccer ball? <laughs> Football. Let's say football. That covers both American and English. Football. Okay. Noun. Bicycle. And a person in room, parentheses, male, happy. Maybe I'll change the adjective happy to something else then. Mm. Mm. Let's see, what's another adjective? Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys are obsessed with adverbs. It's like, we don't need that many. <laughs> I saw fuzzy. fuzzy, that looks good. Yeah, fuzzy. Yeah. All right, now let's click. Oh, look at these beautiful ads. Go mad. <laughs> My dream man. My dream man should, first of all, be very suave and purple. He should have a physique like Casey Musgraves, <laughs> a profile, a side profile like Bob Balaban, and the intelligence of a monkey. He must be polite and must always remember to fence my treehouse, to tip his hospital, and to take my earlobe when crossing the street. He should move quickly and have a smelly voice, and should always dress softly. I would also like him to be a creamy dancer, and when we are alone, he should whisper fuzzy nothings into my toenail and hold my mysterious football. I know a bicycle is hard to find. In fact, the only one I can think of is happy. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow, that was epic sauce. <laughs> Send that to Casey Musgraves with your. <laughs> Please like use, me. Use it for lyrics. Well, oh look behind me. There's paintings I made of dogs. Oh, Isn't that fun? nice. Isn't that fun? <laughs> well, you know, maybe you know. 
maybe we'll end the show with a, a little bit of a Q&A. Viewers, you have access to three, four, if you count happy, of the greatest minds the world has ever known. If you have any questions about Christmas, art, painting, a Santa Claus, a recording an album, ask away. We're not scared. Um, are you finished? Your, I, I finished my art with uh, Santa Claus thinking about George Michael. In, uh, <laughs> Incredible. Uh, it's, it's, the, the radio is saying breaking news, still no Christmas music. And he's oh, thinking no. of Aww. thinking. he's thinking about what Christmas music might be. And it's it's George Michael looking at him over the table. Mm. Damn. I would be sulking, too, if that was the breaking news. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. So things. Yeah. We, luckily, we're not in that universe, though. No. So we're hearing Christmas music right now. <laughs> that looks so good. Thank yeah. you. I'll keep working on it and then I'll send it to her and she better <laughs> share it to stories. <laughs> I think that needs to go on grid. <laughs> Put it on grid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, send that as a message after you send it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Uh, well, we only have one question, and it's related to the Mad Lib game. When did we put Mysterious Football? Um, I, th I think Tommy and Colin said both of those. Yes. Um, cool. Well, I think we've answered all the questions. <laughs> 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 yeah. it, pretty emphatic answer. That, uh, covers everything. Well... I don't know. Maybe that's a good spot for the show to end. There the one mysterious question did football. Just come in. Oh, does Happy have any pup friends? Good question. He's very shy. He uh, only likes me and no one else. It's actually a problem that I need to train him out of. Tommy's met him, and that's he, true. It's, you can attest. He's shy. He's very shy, um, but it was great to see him. He's live. very shy. Mm. My parents have a dog, and so he constant like anytime he has to pass her in the house, he like walks around her. <laughs> Avoids so much. It's so, about walking it's like a high her. school thing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk so to it's, me. He, he, it's like it's like he was playing that party game with you where you uh -huh. <laughs> went to a party and figured out how to avoid other people. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. So he he went on a walk with Gizmo, Sam Packard's dog. Yes. And he did good on that. I feel like he's regressed since the walk with Gizmo because after that he was kind of rude to Gizmo a different time. <gasps> oh, no. And he was rude to Penny uh, a penny nanny O'Kane. He was rude to her mm -hmm. the last time he was over there too. You know, he he's just shy and he keeps to himself. And if someone is a little too much for him, he he'll warn them. He'll say, "Go away. I'm watching my mom. Don't come closer." Mm. But you know, he doesn't speak, so he barks. Anyway, so that's his deal. Tommy, what will you do with your Christmas music fame? Just chill with Mariah Carey and the other holiday greats? Well, I'm hoping that there's some sort of secret society that I will get to join with yeah. <laughs> Mariah Carey and Casey Musgraves. And yeah, we can all <laughs> chill and chill. <laughs> okay, Bunker <laughs> Hunkerer looked after a shy sausage dog once. And now he's on Doggo Xanax, and he's happy. Hmm, interesting. Who is your favorite Christmas character? Um, hmm. Who's my favorite Christmas character? Hmm. Um, I like the the Peanuts Christmas special. Mm. So you know, I don't know. Snoopy. <laughs> 
<laughs> if, if, if you're counting Snoopy, then you could count Rocky from the Rocky movies, because in the fourth one, he, he fights on Christmas Day. <laughs> he's got a red nose. So, yeah, he's got a red nose. <laughs> he's, and big, big, bright red gloves. <laughs> That's me. Just like Santa? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that about Mariah Carey. She didn't address oh. it in her book. Did you read her book? Hmm. Yes. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I do feel like this is a great place to wave and smile at camera until Hex turns off the feed. Bye. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.